Hello, everyone. I'm Rachel Handler, and welcome to the Disability Channel, New York City. I'm so excited to be hosting the first ever episode of the Today Show in New York City. And um, as I said, my name is Rachel Handler. I live here in Jersey City, right across the river from New York, where we have some amazing views of the city skyline. Um, so I'm thrilled to be here looking at the Empire State Building right now outside my window. And I love living here and I'm an actor, a writer, a director, a producer, and all of my films uh, include actors with disabilities and stories about disability. Um, I myself, I wear a prosthetic leg and I became disabled in 2012. And ever since I joined this community, I have felt um, so welcomed and so just thrilled to be part of such an abundant community of amazing people, people who have been through a lot, seen a lot, and are resilient and adaptive and fighting for their rights um, as disabled people, because we all know there's a lot of discrimination still. Um, so I just want to thank our sponsor for today's show. We are proud to have Accessibe as a sponsor on the show and a key supporter of the Disability Channel employment programs. Accessibe, the leaders in web accessibility, are on a mission to make web accessibility accessible so everyone, regardless of their budget, knowledge, and skills, can participate in the global inclusion efforts. So thank you, Accessibe. I think web um, accessibility is so important because if 2020 taught us anything, it's that uh, Zoom is a thing and being online is a big thing. Um, so, you know, if you're in a wheelchair in New York, it can be hard to get to places because the subway system is not very uh, accessible for wheelchairs or even if you're on crutches, you know, there's just a billion steps. So in 2020, when everything went online, it was kind of nice for those of us with mobility accessibilities um, because we didn't have to use the subway anymore, which was a gift from the heavens. But uh, web accessibility is really important um, for many people with disabilities. So accessibility, thank you for doing the work. Um, we in New York appreciate it, and I'm sure worldwide, everyone appreciates it. Um, so I just wanna talk a little bit more about the films that I've made and my work with the Disability Channel so far. Um, I first met Jay uh, just a few months ago, and um, we, we collaborated on some interviews and some footage from Runway of Dreams fashion show here in New York City. So Runway of Dreams, if you haven't heard of it, go ahead and Google it, find their Instagram page. They're an amazing uh, organization where they... Um, showcase models with disabilities in New York Fashion Week, and the models all wear adaptive clothing. So there are stores like Kohl's and Target now. Um, Tommy Hilfiger has a whole line of adaptive wear. So these models wear those clothes, um, you know, the jeans, if there are dexterity issues. Some jeans will have magnets or Velcro instead of buttons or zippers. Um, so it's just a different way of thinking about making fashion accessible. And I have to tell you, when I saw the runway show last year in September, I was blown away by all of the models and the clothes they were wearing. Um, Runway of Dreams, such an important organization doing such amazing work. So I went there on behalf of the Disability Channel and interviewed some amazing models, some amazing audience members. I mean, 
I interviewed a soap opera star who was there to support and be an amazing ally to the disabled community. So if you haven't already seen some of those clips from the Runway of Dreams fashion show on the Disability Channel YouTube channel, go ahead and check them out. Um, I'm just so thrilled to be part of the Disability Channels network now. Um, from Runway of Dreams to future interviews with, you know, some New York actors with disabilities, uh, some New York writers and directors with disabilities. And New York is really a melting pot. So you can expect some other people also not in the entertainment industry, but in the fashion industry from Runway of Dreams or from Open Style Lab here in New York, where they have students creating clothes for people with disabilities. Um, I was one of the models for the students in, gosh, I think it was 2018 or 2017, and they created this amazing skirt for me to wear with my prosthetic leg where I could hide my prosthetic leg when I didn't want to deal with people staring at me. And then I could flip the skirt so my prosthetic leg was showing and I could show it off when I did want people to see me and see the leg and ask questions, you know? So Open Style Lab is also really cool um, here in New York. And, uh, you know, there are also some amazing um, people with disabilities working as computer programmers here, you know, um, as bankers here in New York. Um, it really is a city of hard workers and people who are willing to come here and really study and learn and grow and develop their careers. So I'm really excited to do those interviews and continue this conversation. So we'll take a quick break. And then when I come back, I'm so excited to introduce you to Jay Stoyan, the founder of the Disability Channel. See you soon. <laughs> 